irrational fear. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Ocon. Uh, thanks very much. I love Sydney. I love Sydney a lot. I just wish, I wish it could be a bit more expensive. Uh, $5 to use the road. Uh, that's just not enough, is it? $5. Are you serial bro to use the highway? I once spent $16 getting from the airport to Quakers Hill. $16 on tolls. I bought a $25 airfare once to Brisbane. $9 more. Yes, it was with Tiger. No, I didn't go anywhere because it got cancelled. But that's not the point, okay? This is ridiculous how much we're spending to live in the city, but we got it good, right? I went to Ghana recently because my dad is from there. And I, if I told someone there that I spent the equivalent of their weekly wage just so I didn't have to wait at traffic lights, I wouldn't be surprised if they just killed me then and there. Just slapped me in the face until the privilege oozed out of my lifeless body and onto their dirt footpath. Just make no mistake about it, we are some of the most privileged people in this country and it's disgusting. I spent the last year making jokes about how I wish I was rich enough to not care what colour the plates are on sushi train, right? Now, I was thinking... I was thinking about that goddamn joke while I was paying my own cousin $20 to drive me around for the whole day. Do you know how disgusting that is, right? And I didn't see anything wrong with it, right? My dad, right, okay, so, like, because, look, let's face it. We live in a world that's filled with magic, right? And this magic doesn't happen everywhere. I've got this thing at home that I call like this magic vanishy box, right? You guys probably call it a bin, okay? But with my magic box thing, I put all my junk in it at the end of a week and I just pop it on the footpath and guess what happens the next day? Gone! It all just vanishes. I don't even know what happens to it afterwards and I don't care because it's always happened since the day I was born and I assume it'll happen until the day I die, right? I've got this thing in my apartment called a tap. I just twist it and water comes gushing out of it. The second most important resource that we have on this earth. Clean, fresh drinking water. 300 litres of it a day just out of there. And you know what I do with it? I clean the excess food off my plates and I wash the Klingons off my asshole with it. No wonder the rest of the world <laughs> hates us. We use... Like, so this is the thing, right? Remember the GFC? We haven't had it so tough since the GFC. Remember the GFC? Remember that? When, when you're too Two friends lost their jobs, right? <laughs> They're supposed to stop the world in their tracks, right? Your two rich financial friends didn't go to work for three weeks. Yeah. Oh, how ever did we get through that, right? Seriously. Oh, like I'm, we're lucky to have a house on our heads. What with interest rates going up every time that happens by 0.25 percent, there's an orchestra-filled story on a, one of our current affairs programs about the Aussie story of the battlers doing it hard. You know, there's always some couple. Oh, oh you know it'll probably I mean we can't go to Bali this year and oh, oh, we might have to put the boys into a state school oh no not a state school they might actually respect women right. excuse me yeah. When the 2012 budget came in, I had idiots on my Twitter piece going, oh, thanks for the government not caring about single people with regular incomes. I'm sorry, if you're a single person with a regular income, if you can't sustain yourself, you have a crack at it. Like a habit, okay? You should stop spending money on drugs, right? If you don't have enough money to survive, you go, like, here's the thing, you probably went to uni, okay? You probably went to uni at a hugely discounted fee from the government, the rest of which they loaned to you, right? And then they gave you the option of pocket money at the same time you also had a job but you didn't tell them that because you wanted to cheat the system and now you want to complain because they don't do anything for you but when you break your arm you go to the hospital and walk out the next day with a cask and a cast and a couple of texters so that people can write funny little things on your cast right and then you complain to the council that it took you six hours while you were waiting in the waiting room my auntie broke her leg in africa and died, okay? That is not even a joke. There was such poor health care right wherever she was that it got infected so much that she died and you're complaining because you had to sit in the waiting room with a hangover? Eat shit, okay? Eat shit, you privileged piece of crap. I don't care. But it's not just us, it's not just people like us, it's not all the good stuff as well. The government spends $10 million a year on keeping 40 prisoners in super maximum security prisons. $300,000 a year per prisoner. Ivan Milat went on a hunger strike because he wanted to protest about the poor quality of food in jail and they had to keep guards with an intravenous drip next to him in case he died. Here's the thing, 
Why don't we just let him die? He killed seven people. How can people be starving all around the world and Ivan Milat still gets the choice between chicken or beef? No. There's something wrong with this country. Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Noah Cohen. Thanks very much. Do you think Australians can't see just how good we've got it, guys? Um, I mean, uh, what do you think, Jen Wong? Oh... Uh... I think we're pretty lucky. You think we're pretty lucky? <laughs> yeah, but I just say that because I don't want Gina to buy my ass. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, what about you, Layla? Then the media goes ad nauseum about the battlers, uh, the people doing it tough. Do we need new names for these people? I think we do. Oh, well, I'm very fond of the battlers. Are you? Yeah, yeah. We, you know, uh, it's a term that we use quite often and um, we've become quite attached to. But I think that it is... You really, don't say. It's really hard to see, you know, how good we've got things when... You know, I live in Dover Heights and... Sometimes we do it really tough because... <laughs> there's electricity storms oh, and uh, they knock out. And there's no, so many neighbours from hell in Dover Heights. There are. Do you know some people... <laughs> the trouble with Dover Heights is people park their boats yeah. in the street. I hate that. <laughs> and it's, it's really hard to... Get Campbell it park his boats. Oh. We're doing it tough. We're doing it. <laughs> well, guys, what should Australians be complaining about? Matt Keneally? Well, I don't know what they should be complaining about. I don't know what they are complaining about. Um, I had I was watching Q and A in Queensland when they I think the first seven questions were about foreigners, <laughs> and they were complaining about aid going. And these are people making hundred grand a year and saying, "Oh, but we're doing it tough here." I just thought, man, this is Australia. We're the richest country in the world. Like I can picture Australians in heaven saying, "It's nice, <laughs> but I expected more." <laughs> <laughs> Right, <laughs> right,